You're watching a special episode of Picture Lock where we focus on film. Moving from the dynamic duo of Cheryl Brown and Anthony Green, I have in front of me the three female leads of Thick, the terrific trio and love triangle of Teresa, Ronnie, and Nina, otherwise known as Tia Day, Pascal Piquion, and Chasita Giles. <laughs> Ladies, thank you for coming on the show. First of all, congratulations on some awesome performances and a great film. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's like y'all are still in <laughs> like, yeah, what's going on okay so uh, there's a lot of questions that I have and I want to get into um, but first just give us a quick background on how each of you got into acting we'll start with you Tia alright great um, well uh, acting is just a part of my life when I wake up I'm acting um, I started <laughs> stage acting um, Probably when I was a little girl, wasn't nothing serious because singing is my first uh, claim to fame. But stage acting in 2003, and then I got into web series acting uh, 2009, which was uh, basically my kickoff project, and that was with Anacostia. So, yeah. Nice. That's pretty much how I got started. <laughs> All right. Ask out. Um, my first play was my freshman year of high school. I decided to audition for a musical and I played Queenie in Showboat. And uh, that was my first show and after that I just kept auditioning for plays and when I went to college I didn't think of any other major but theater. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I have always wanted to be an actor since I was little. Like that's just how I used to play with my cousins. I'd make up stories and assign roles and have them acted out. Um, my first play was in elementary school. I played the wicked stepmother mm. in, um, in Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> I was Toto. <laughs> in kindergarten. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. And well, from there, I just kept going with it. And then I started doing some film. I'm from Boston. So when um, the women, the remake of the women with Meg Ryan, when that came out, I got my first kind of union credit doing background work for that film and I just kept going with it from there just doing as much theater film anything I could kind of get into sweet all right so um, how did you all get involved in thick I could start with that <laughs> um, actually Tamika Chavez uh, called me about it um, and asked and offered me the part um, and yeah, that was really interesting because she said that it was a lesbian role and I was, I was a little worried about the sexual content of the script, but mm -hmm. after reading it, it was just so well written that there was no way I could turn it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, I actually came in and auditioned for the role of Nina. <laughs> um, and the reason wow. being is because I had never went out for a lead role. I'm used to just going out for character roles. I play those very well because you can stretch in a character role. But they could not find Teresa. And mm. when Anthony called me and said, hey Tia, we want you to come in and audition for the role of Teresa, I was scared. I'm like, hold it. <laughs> I've never played a lead role before. <laughs> right. And um, you know, just with the gift of God, you know, I was able to go in and nail it. Nice. You nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> you nailed you it. did. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> kind of same story as Tia. I never had a lead role before. I've always been supporting or done background. So this was my first major lead role. And I went in for an audition. for, And I, I auditioned for Nina. But I actually didn't know she was a lesbian. Because when I was reading the script and I saw Ronnie, I assumed it was a guy. Uh. And it wasn't until they did a callback and I realized I was reading with a girl, and I was like, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> but the script was so good, and I've always, like, if, if I could do anything, I would love to be, like, an action hero. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do all my own stunts. I'd love to be in, like, the X-Men movies. Like, all, I want to just do, like, all the badass stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I still, whether she was a lesbian or not, I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're, we're touching on this. Uh, this is a, like the story is pretty unique in terms of um, having a lesbian female crime boss uh, and her team in the leads. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna take some time just to, to brag on everybody, right? So, um, uh, Tia, your character Teresa. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> 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 
like what as I watched it, I'm just like, wow, like she is like you think that she's got it all together, but underneath it's almost like this is literally this is what I thought when I was watching uh your performance. I was like, you know the scene in uh the Avengers when um David Banner he's like he's like What's the secret? And he's like, I'm always angry. And then he turns around and he turns into the Incredible Hulk. Y'all saw it. Come on now. Y'all saw it. I did. That's the <laughs> That's last how I Avengers, felt it right? was. Yeah, the last okay. one. Right. That's how I felt it was with you because, like, you were like David Banner, like, always smooth and calm. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, the kitchen scene, like, I was like, yo, what in the world? So, so, so was I. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was on set. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Pascal, like, um, you know, being the, uh, you know, former, I guess, crackhead but now you know girl in the middle like a lot of people when you view a film you could see that like that's a throwaway role right but no like you got to own that because otherwise it just doesn't rain as true and I thought like you definitely you know nailed, nailed that role which is, is hard to do yeah. you could easily just sleep on it yeah. and the same thing for you is just like you know I your character was just like dealing with this inner conflict yeah. Which I want to get into. <laughs> so, like, the question is, you all did such a great job in getting into character. How did you get into your individual characters? I pray. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I mean, realistically, I I pray over every role that I'm just blessed to, to get. Um, and even with singing, if I'm, I'm doing a singing engagement where it's a competition and I have to be or sing another artist's song, I'm just always praying, God, can you please allow this artist to enter my body, you know, the voice, you know, because that's what it's all about for me. Right, right, you right. You know, but I pray and I continuously read and I just marinate into it because it's so fun to become someone else, and then I can go back to being mom. <laughs> <laughs> right, awesome. Pascal. Um, it was just a lot of trying to create her backstory, figure out what her, what motivates her, what her needs were. Um, even though she's well taken care of, a lot of her, her needs are very basic and very primal, so mm. it was just playing around with that and developing that into um, kind of figuring out and building a life around mm -hmm. her character. Nice. So at least I, I have like a See whole <laughs> like process. Like I, as soon as I found out I got the role, I called my acting coach, Denise Hart, and I um, sent her the script. I set up sessions with her to work with her on my script. I asked a lot of questions of Cheryl and Anthony. Anthony recommended I go see this indie film called War Witch, because he said that was kind of the prototype for my character. So mm -hmm. I went and saw that film. Then off of seeing that film, I kind of I had a journal for my character. I kind of created her whole backstory in that journal, and and up until the point where she started working for, T for Teresa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I, had whole, I had a whole <laughs> journal for that. Um, and I start. I went on a diet. I started lifting weights. I worked with a personal trainer. Wow. So I just really got into this whole like, it's kind of like like that commercial. You know where the guys like I lift things up and put them down. Like I try to get in that <laughs> mindset of like this is what I do. I kill people. I do push-ups. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not emotional because I'm like a very smiley like girly person, and I had right. to kill all of that, and yeah. it was really really hard. So I just went into this like cold stoic work mode where it was just all push-ups and, and, and protein shakes and, <laughs> and <laughs> nice and yeah I just really had to get out of myself that's what's up so uh, what was one of the hardest scenes uh, for you all as actors or I should say actresses but it's the same thing mm. you know we can play men too yeah, yeah. actors <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys want to well hmm let me think. Well, for me, it was um, obviously the kitchen scene. <laughs> God, that wasn't a real. That wasn't real knife. Yes, right? absolutely. And, yep. and listen, the gun <laughs> specialist brought those knives in. Mm -hmm. Those were not just regular kitchen knives. Ah. You know, you have a, uh, I guess it's the, an arsonist specialist that brings in the guns mm -hmm. that you use and things like that. Yeah, they had to bring those guns. Yeah, we we had stunt choreographers. We had a weapons person just someone who did all the props mm -hmm. so our props were like real but they weren't like they were real knives but they were dulled 
so that they gotcha. couldn't actually cut you, but it okay. was a knife. It was still very wow. scary <laughs> and intimidating, wow. and yeah. I was freaking out. You should have been scared. I was scared. <laughs> yeah. I was very scared. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that was one of them, but obviously um, the scene where she's threatening the life of my son, that was by far the hardest scene yeah, that yeah. I've he ever ever did <laughs> right right and that's like that's what i was talking about because a lot of times when you can when you're saying like oh don't hurt my son whatever you know like it can get like melodramatic yeah. but it just felt real like you know what i mean um so i, I definitely appreciated that yeah well for me i don't i really can't think about a, a, a hard scene maybe the scene the opening monologue mm. um because by the time we got around to filming that, I mean, I was dead tired. Oh, wow. I was very tired. So you all did that scene last? Or uh, it was, or it was, it was just like a late day, a middle, long day? It was pretty, it was a very long day because it was at an art gallery and they had to do so much setup before mm. that. And I was sitting in the seat like this, <laughs> just sleep. You know what I'm saying? Until they was like, okay, we ready. Um, but that was probably the hardest for me. Yeah, okay, so okay. For me, it was definitely the tunnel scene, that fight scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. That, we filmed until like oh, like three in the morning, something like that. It got, it got really, really late. Then it started pouring, and we were in this tunnel, and the tunnel was dirty. There was like bird oh. droppings everywhere. Oh, Dirt, it was a oh. dirty, dirty, uh. dirty tunnel. Wow. And it was late, and it started pouring raining, the tunnel started flooding because of all, like literally the tunnel started flooding, like it was getting filled wow. with water. <laughs> so we're trying to shoot this and they're like, hurry up, we only have like a few more minutes because the tunnel literally is flooding. So we're like rolling around on the ground, there's water rushing down the sides of the tunnel. It was like something out, it was like something out of a movie. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was real, it was real dramatic and crazy. And by the time I got home, I was just dirty and tired and like my muscles were sore because it was just, it, it was a lie. It was so much. I'm glad that wasn't me. Yeah. It was so much. It was so much. That scene, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget <laughs> that. Well, that's cool. Um, I guess one thing I wanted to ask you mm -hmm. was just in terms of the scene where um, uh, you're by yourself. and uh, just, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you want to end it, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just say that. Um, what was going through your head uh, just as, I mean, like you said, you had a journal for mm -hmm. your role, mm -hmm. so how did you get in the character on that one? So that's one of the scenes that I worked with my acting coach with a lot because it was one of the hardest scenes for me. Um, it was a lot of reflection and just thinking about all the people that, the character Nina, like all the people that I killed, um, my background of coming from violence and it seeming like I only bring about more violence and the people that are closest to me end up getting hurt because of it. Mm. And just feeling like, I don't know how to do anything else. There's no other way for me to end this except for to kill myself. And then almost kind of just like hating yourself a little bit. Right. And then being a little disgusted with yourself too because the phone rings and I still pick up the phone. Mm. You know, So it was just kind of like a lot of just internal struggle in that scene. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it, and. You know, it shows. Um, mm -hmm. And like I said, just the preparation, I can tell you guys really prepared for these roles. And, and that's why I think it, it's, it's just a great film. Um, so, okay, we talked about, um, you know, the, the, the hard stuff. What about the fun? Like, what, what scene did you <laughs> have the most fun with? The same, yeah, scene, I was about to say, the same scene that was the hardest for me was actually also the most fun. So that tunnel scene where it was flooding and it was like a freaking horror film almost, it was a lot of fun too because <laughs> I never did stunt choreography before. I, I got to wear a dress. Throughout the whole film, I'm like full on like lesbian, like right. baggy clothes, like army fatigue, just completely not girly at all. I actually got to wear a dress, I had my little mask on, I had cute makeup, my hair was out, because throughout the whole film, you know, I have the Bantu knots, right. <laughs> I got to take my hair out. So I just felt like more a little bit like myself, but then I got to be, you know, like, like a little, you know, do a little fighting, action like a little action yeah. fighting, <laughs> like what I would love to do, which is like be an action star. So nice. that was a lot of fun for me, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and I, I, didn't, I didn't recognize who you were in that scene. With, like, when you were up there with Vincent L, I was like, oh, who's this? Mm. And then I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I guess for me it was um, the karate school scene um, with the kids because there was a karate instructor there like showing the kids how to do um, the moves and it was just hilarious watching them. <laughs> mm. Cute. Well, for me, it was the kitchen scene. Um, I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> really? I, I, because <laughs> it allowed me to go somewhere where I'm not able to go mm -hmm. on, on a regular basis. Um, and the fact that I was able to improv at the end, which really, I think, gave the scene more oomph. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a lot of fun because I got to throw somebody up against the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was. I mean, as sinister as that may sound, I mean, sorry, but <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> I did right. have a lot of fun with that. That was yeah. weird because for me, that was like the most emotionally disturbing <laughs> scene. Like, I really wanted to rip her head off. Like, I, yeah. could, I just had this just anger just building up in me because she was so in character. I mean, I just... <laughs> I hated her and I felt so helpless. Yeah. Um, I was your victim. <laughs> you should have slowed down. Felt like you should have failed back. Had fun with it. <laughs> all, right, all right. Um, so what was it like uh working under the leadership of Cheryl and Anthony? They're great. Amazing. They're really awesome. great. Yes. I I would definitely have to say of all the sets I've worked on, even like like Hollywood sets, they're 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 really good. I mean, mm. they take very good care of you. They didn't lie about anything. Like our love scene, they told us it wasn't going to be anything like sleazy, and they kept to that. You know, mm -hmm. it was very tastefully done. Mm -hmm. I had no issues with it at all when I saw it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they made sure everything went on time. They made sure we were you know fed. That you know, there was one day where we all parked the wrong way and all of us got parking tickets Anthony took care of it wow um I think the very the day after we wrapped like we all got paid like everything was just professional on time there was no questions about anything like I wouldn't I wouldn't think twice about shooting with them again <laughs> yeah right. yeah like this was definitely like the dream team of filmmaking like I will work with them I don't care if I live like somewhere off in like Africa <laughs> like I will come back here to shoot with them yeah they are amazing we're just in good hands from beginning to finish mm -hmm. and everybody that was involved was a master like in what they did mm -hmm. they just were so professional and and everything was so tight like yeah. I don't <laughs> it was <laughs> definitely like the best movie set I've ever been on mm -hmm. nice I second what these young ladies said. Anthony Green, Cheryl Brown, awesomeness. You rock. <laughs> <laughs> they were really good. All right. Um, so, and what about working with the fellas on that? Because, you know, it's talking with the guys, and, you know, obviously, you know, the film wouldn't have been anything if they didn't come in strong <laughs> right. as well. So, um, <laughs> I would say the lefty character gave me a lot to work with like it was not hard to not like him he like even between takes he was flirty he was like <laughs> pushing my buttons like it was i was it, like when i finally got to kill him it was great <laughs> like, nice <laughs> the only guy i had a scene with was my son oh yeah the, the, <laughs> he was great yeah when well captain morrison, morrison. When yeah, yeah. Captain morrison well, I got to work with several of the um, just small roles. All of the guys were awesome. Um, I love the scene where uh, Detective Morrison came into the restaurant and he told me, I want to see you with the hole in the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I gotta say this because in my in my in my mind I was like, okay, I gotta tell this. So I just love your face in the whole film. Like you have a beautiful face, but then at the same time, it was like so hard. You know what I mean? So that's what made it so good because it was like you could pull off the hardness, but at, at the same time the beauty. And those like the the beginning, the introduction, because obviously that set the the tone, the tone for the yeah. film. Mm -hmm. And you know, doing the little raspy talk like this while you're talking. It, you know, not everybody can pull out. But that was great. And then Thank that scene you. when you're eating, like, it was just like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. About. <laughs> I was like, did you watch? What did you watch? Like, what, what, was it um, New Jack City? Who? who? I'm telling you, who it's just prayer. I'm telling nice. you, I promise you. And, and, I, and I say that and I mean that. Um, it will never change. Just me being, I have a walk in closet at home. And I will go into my walk-in closet. I would even have my children 
help me, you know, read opposite of me. But I go into that closet and I go into a zone hmm. and I tape myself and then I will play it back to see if it sounds believable. If it hmm. does not sound believable, like I'm talking very high pitch right now, this would not work for Teresa <laughs> at all. Okay. Right. <laughs> but I'm right. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it just killing it. Yeah, I just got to get into it. I have to get into it. Word. Well, uh, before we wrap out, you know, go ahead. You guys got to eat. So, how can people, <laughs> directors, if they're watching, how can they get in contact with you? We'll start down. Well, I am under Red One Entertainment Management. Um, you can catch me on Facebook. That's T I A D is in David A E. Uh, you can also catch me on Twitter, and that's just an MS in front of Tia Day, and then Instagram. But Red One Management, you can, you de definitely can catch me there. Red One Entertainment at gmail.com. <laughs> awesome. Um, my name is Pascal Fikio again, and I, you can find me on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm not yet on Twitter. Um, and yeah. <laughs> um, everything for me is just my first name, Chisita, which is, it's it looks a lot harder than it is to say. It's just Chasita, and that's C-H-A-S-E-E-D-A-W. That's my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then my email is also Chasita at iCloud.com. So pretty Sweet. easy to find. <laughs> All right, well ladies, again, excellent knockout job. Thanks again for coming on Thanks the show. I look forward to seeing you guys on the big screen in the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>